In today's video, we're going to be making collage papers on the jelly plate. I'm working on a series called the Quantum Keys, and I want some of these dark background with golden interference pigment prints that I've been able to make recently for these pieces. And because I already know I want them to be collaged into a painting, I want to be using the rice paper instead of the dark or the, the cardstock. So let's get started. So I've got Van Dyke Brown and some um, dioxazine purple. Um, let's get a little bit more here. Let's do a phthalo turquoise. Get a nice dark. Of course, you can just use straight black, but um, I like to vary it. And we'll just get a base coat here. It's nice and dark. Let's just do a couple of those. We'll do a phthalo blue. These are golden fluid acrylics. All right, this is pretty. So this is the phthalo blue and uh, black. Yeah, that's, an, that's nice. Oh, we got something on the plate. It's okay, we've got a couple little uh, things on the plate, but they're looking like little planets, but I'm gonna try and get those off. Some little things are stuck to the plate. Let's just do one more, we'll do Thalo turquoise, thalo blue, and some black. And then we'll use the interference pigment on top of it. It's carbon black. That's not quite as dark because I didn't add as much black, but it should still work. All right. So we've got a couple bases here and now we can print off some use some of the interference to do some prints so let's see I've got some interference gold here and we'll add the violet in with the interference violet and some interference green I have a couple new stencils too. I have no idea what they're gonna be like. Okay, we'll start with this nice glass piece. Press that down a few times. Use our little one. Ooh, left some paint on there. And a mid-sized one. And let's see what we get with that. Pretty. These are nice little planetary looking shapes. And let's try one of the stencils. Actually, we'll try a couple. I've been working with this one with really great results. Interference violet again, interference gold. Let's try the interfer interference blue this time. Nope, we still got the green, that'll work. Uh, so this was a, a stencil that I just trimmed the edges off, and I've been really getting some cool results with this. So we'll put that down. And um, I like this as well. I cut this out of a stencil. Uh, we'll put that in. Let's see what else. Here's a couple more. I like that. Um, straight edge and let's do this again okay Uh, 
Okay, I'm loving that. Look at that stencil, isn't that cool? All right, so that's a that's a keeper. Um, let's see, I bet you I could pick up part of this. Let's just grab that black piece of paper and see what we get. Now that's kind of cool. Get uh, part of this, I guess. All right. I mean, it's just so amazing on the black. We'll do another um, kind of a base print with some dark colors and pick this up because this paint needs to be removed before we can do what I want to do next. All right. So that was black, phthalo turquoise, and phthalo blue green shade. And we will pick up what's left there and have another base print. Yeah, and that's just got some of the, um, that's got a little bit of the ghosty in there. Wow. All right. All right, so let's do one more with the new stencil that I got, which has a lot of space-related themes. And so let's go back. Actually, I feel like I want some interference blue this time. Interference violet and interference green. Okay, and we'll brayer that out. I need to clean my brayer. Obviously there's some dark paint left in there. All right, so this is a brand new stencil. I have no idea you know, there's a lot of that that's going to be left on the stencil. All right, so let's uh, go over this here. Yeah, most of this is going to be on the underside of this stencil of this wonderful interference paint. Okay, well, so that's interesting. I think I can use it, but it's not what I was really hoping for, and, and what I know is I've got all this pigment here on the underside of this stencil and um, on the plate here, and I did not have a black background ready to receive it, so let's just do this. We'll use it for something, huh? And this. Let's see what we got here. And that. I can use that for something else. It's really not what I want for my collage papers. So let's just pick up what's left here and see if we can't make something a little more satisfying. Phthalo blue, green shade, black. We'll do a little um, dioxazine purple this time. Let's see what we get. Well, 
well, there's a little something there, but let's do, let's do the stars over it. Let's do interference gold and interference pearl, and it'll just be really light and white. Do we have the pearl? Here we go. I know I need to clean the brayer. Okay, this is another new one, so I don't know how it's gonna be. We'll go there and we'll use these two two up here. I'll go right over this since it's not exciting. Okay, so that's much better. So now we've got sort of a cosmic-y looking collage sheet. That's really gonna work for me. All right, and we can pick this up too with some of our black paper and use, use that in a different format for the background of a note card or something. All right, well, let's do one more with this really cool uh, stencil before, before we stop. Um, again, I've got some paint on here, so there's going to be some residue of the um, interference colors. Use a little bit of, well, it wasn't what I was looking for, but this is anthroquinone blue. Just this really deep, deep, sp deep sta space blues. We'll use that for our background. Okay, there's our background, and I'm gonna put the uh, this stencil over part of it, but before I do that, I'm gonna clean the brayer. All right, so we'll do one more here. Let's see, let's do some of the pearl, some of the violet. I have some gold running through it this time. And interference gold. Well, at least it's cleaner. We don't see so, so much of that dark color on the plate from the brayer. This is probably too much paint and I'm too, um, I don't wanna sacrifice it. So we'll see what happens. Again, we'll use this. I love this shape. Um, I guess I'm gonna do this too. Oops, that wasn't a good press. That's all right. Should I try it again? Well, okay. And then we'll do this part on here. a little too juicy. That's fun though. Okay. Well, that's look at look at the cool kind of 
shadow effect that got from smudging it. That actually turned out really well. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to stop for now. Uh, this is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. I hope you had fun. I know I did.